Welcome to Warsaw, the capital of Poland. Bowtie travelers in Warsaw. Warsaw, the capital city of Poland. It stands on the Vistula River in the east central part of Poland. It is the largest city of Poland with incredible monument and charming atmosphere. It is not in vain that is one of those cities that have been baptized Paris of the East. With a population of around 2 million people, the lively Warsaw is the ninth most populous city in the European Union. Warsaw's old town is an attractive place to visit, with different cheerful activities organized during summer, the festive period and all year round you will not be lacking entertainment. As a devoted Catholic country, during the festive period, Christmas carols are sung in the old town for the enjoyment of amazed visitors. Many other entertaining activities take place in the Warsaw's Art Town. Rich in wonderful restaurants, exquisite cafes and shops, medieval architecture, Warsaw's old town has been placed on the UNESCO's list of world heritage sites. The next stop is the iconic Palace of Culture and Science, a 13 minute drive from Warsaw's old town. We are in the front of, of the Palace of Science and Culture. It was a gift from Russia and it's usually called this range of Stalin. Sure, yeah, sure. Sure, 
Constructed in 1955, this excellent piece of architecture is the tallest building in Poland and is the ninth tallest building in European Union. It is the center of various companies, public institutions and cultural activities. Construction started in 1952 and it took around 5,000 determined Russian workers and 4,000 committed Polish workers to build this palace of science and culture. And then just 13 minutes tram ride to the town of Angon Soldier. This is a monument dedicated to unknown soldiers who have given their lives for Poland. The tomb is constantly lit by an eternal flame and assisted by guard posts by the representative battalion of the Polish army. We happen to witness with delight the changing of guard, which takes place every hour. Warsaw has wonderfully rebuilt itself. In 1944, the Nazi Germany completely destroyed this blazing city. This was after the well-documented Warsaw Uprising. During the World War II, Poland has suffered a great deal. All over Warsaw, all over the capital city, you can see monuments, you can see places dedicated to the war, dedicated to heroes, 
that helped Poland survive the war. Warsaw Uprising was a major World War II operation by the Polish Resistance Home Army to liberate Warsaw from German occupation. This was a 33 days struggle which claimed the lives of around 200,000 civilians and many were sent to concentration camps. had a great impact in the Polish history and that can be seen all over Warsaw. We have monuments dedicated to the World War II. In 1939, Poland was invaded by Russians and Germans. Uprising was not only a matter for adults, even kids were concerned about making Poland free. So here is a monument dedicated to those kids who lost their life trying to make Poland free. With his oversized helmet and boots, the statue of Legion Insurgents is reputed to represent Antek, a fighter who was killed in August 1954 at the age of 13. You can just imagine him caught up in the horror of what is happening around him. Currently, more than half of the antiques and museum objects of Polish heritage stolen by Germans in 1944 have not been returned to Poland. Frederick Chopin, the famous Polish composer, was born in Zelona Wola. A statue which was destroyed by Germans and rebuilt again by Poland stands in the upper part of Warsaw's Royal Bath Park a.k.a. Wajenki Park. We are in the Wajenki Park in Warsaw. Don't be fooled by the ice and snow you see on the, on the ground. It's really cold. Poland is in a continental climate. The winter is really cold. 
and the summer is hot. We happen to be here in the winter and we try to take some pictures of the Wajenki Park. It's beautiful here and if you don't like the cold, you can just come in the summer and it's maybe much nicer. The Royal Bass Park, Wajenki Park for locals, is the largest park in Warsaw. It must be one of the most captivating parks in Europe. Its popularity extends to families, peacocks and fans of classical music. Wajenki means bass and is derived from the park's centerpiece and best known attraction, the palace on the island. Dotted with many palaces, summer houses, mansions, cafes, restaurants, lakes and theatres, to make the best of it, you should plan to spend a full day here. Another remarkable feature of the park is the statue of Henrik Sienkiewicz, which was a Polish journalist and novelist, a Nobel Prize laureate, and the author of the internationally known bestseller Quo Vadis. Next stop is the Museum of the History of Polish Jews, a 13 minutes drive from the Wajenki Park. This city has a lot of history. One fifth of the Polish population perished during the World War II. Half of Jewish Polish population perished with them. About three million of Polish Jews perished during the World War II. And here is the memorial, the Jewish Ghetto Memorial, just to commemorate uh, the Jews that perished during the World War II. The monument of Ghetto Heroes is located in front of the Museum of the History of Polish Jews. It is on the site of the former Warsaw Ghetto. The museum core exhibition consists of eight galleries that document and celebrate the thousand year history of Jews community in Poland. Once the largest Jewish community in the world, that community was almost entirely destroyed during the Holocaust. The PGE Polish National Stadium is located 11 minutes drive from the Museum of the History of Polish Jews. We are now at the National Polish Stadium. Euro 2012 has been hosted here in this stadium. Poland and Ukraine have hosted Euro 2012. The stadium 
has a seating capacity of more than 58,000 and it is a multi-purpose venue able to host sporting events, concerts, cultural events and conferences. At night, it lightens up, looks really, really beautiful. This cuisine is rich in meat, especially pork, chicken and beef, winter vegetables such as cabbage, spices and herbs. The traditional dishes are often demanding in preparation. Many poles allow themselves a generous amount of time to serve and enjoy their festive meals, especially Christmas Eve dinner, Vigilia. The most recommendable dishes are Bigos Hunter Stew Dish of finely chopped meat of various kinds stewed with sauerkraut and shredded fresh cabbage Pork Chop Pork Cutlet is coated with breadcrumbs fried on lard and served with potatoes and browned or pickled cabbage. Polish dumplings, pierogi, are filled dumplings, and the typical fillings include potato, sauerkraut, ground meat, cheese, and fruit. Cabbage rolls made from lightly soft boiled cabbage leaves wrapped around minced pork or beef, chopped onions and rice, which are baked in a casserole dish and are usually served with a creamy tomato sauce. Polish sausage, kielbasa. The Polish cuisine has a variety of sausages, which are becoming increasingly popular all over the world. Kielbasa can be eaten heated or cold in a sandwich, in soups or sauces, with scrambled eggs or vegetables. Polish vodka. Polish vodka is amongst the most revered of all the vodkas. Tribe soup. After drinking, just try the Polish tribe soup, which is considered one of the best remedies for hangover. Warsaw has a good metro system running from north to south and a second line that opened in March 2015 running east to west. Warsaw has an bus and tram system crisscrossing the city. Over 1500 buses 
operate in and around the city and most run from between 5 a.m. and 11 p.m. After that, night buses run on most roads twice every hour.